Hi there! In this video, we're going to review and give examples about how to select your courses. If you haven't already, make sure you watch our first video in the series called Before You Begin. All programs have some general degree requirements. No matter what you plan to major in, you have certain requirements that you need to complete before you can graduate. Your worksheet will tell you what these general degree requirements are and provide you with registration advice for your first year. It's a tool you'll want to refer to and use to plan your courses. Normally, we recommend that first-year students use their first year at DAL to complete many, if not all, of these requirements. If you do this, you will ensure that your first year is full of diverse classes, allowing you to explore many subjects and personalize your degree. Another benefit is that you'll get your general degree requirements out of the way early so that you have your remaining years to focus more closely on your major, any minors, and other interests. You'll also want to become acquainted with the academic timetable. This is the schedule of all of the courses offered at DAL and their descriptions. The timetable lists all levels of courses, but we'll be looking at the introductory 1000 level courses today. When you see a subject of interest in your subject groupings, start looking up the 1000 level courses in that subject on the timetable. Here, you can read the course description. and see the days and times the course is offered. Once you've settled on a course based on its description and ability to fulfill a requirement, make note of the course name and number on your worksheet. Here's an example of a completed first year worksheet for a Bachelor of Arts student who is thinking about majoring in political science, but also wants to explore his or her interest in English. Take a look. Notice how all of the subject groupings have been fulfilled with these choices? Keep in mind that it's okay to be undecided. Your first year should be all about exploring your interests and trying new things. See your advisor if you need more assistance. You may want to make a short list of some backup classes, just in case one of your first choices is full or ends up conflicting with another course in your proposed schedule. You can submit your worksheet for review to the first year advising team. They will email you back with any suggestions based on your selections. The link is in the description box of this video. In our next video, we'll show you how to start building your schedule based on the courses that you've selected. Thanks for watching!